the Vikings from Odin to Christ by Martin Whitehawk and Hannah Whitehawk. So the so before it starts off, you got a line of key events, key people, glossary, intro, and introduction, 14 chapters, the final thought. You do get a map at the beginning as well of the different countries it talks about. Yeah, I'll go into that. The map is like more of a main focus of where it's going to be. Yeah, it does talk about going into like North America and like to the east more but there are certain countries where it's a chapter for like Sweden or a chapter for Norway or whatever so some chap some chapters are country specific like that sometimes it's just continent specific like North America so it The key, the key event, key events are point form, very brief, like a few words. Same with the people, which are in bolded text, and you got in parentheses a lot of the times their death year. So, and glossary is at the front, not at the back like other books would be but it is a little helpful so you know where easier to find and it is a history slash spiritual religious book because uh because of what it is talking about so it start it's it does talk about like the transition of the viking people and where in the countries that they go to from their transition from paganism to Christianity and how pa paganism has lingered randomly throughout the time and e and with each country it does go pretty chronological and but if you want like a book that's from chapter one to 14 that's all chronological it, and and all mushed together with the countries this isn't the book for, for you it the chapters focus on the country and then goes chronological within the chapter so by going by country you do get you're not as muddled up saying oh aren't they talking about Norway when there's when in the middle of talking about like Sweden or whatever or the UK and so it so it does talk about like the growth and introduction of Christianity and it does talk about like there have been times where there have been like combinations like of both religions there are, are some uses of primary sources, but it does seem uh, secondary resource as well. So you do have a, mi a slight mix of first and second secondary resources. So It goes into like the Christian Vikings in Russia and the Byzantine Empire, and the, it's, there's this own timelines within each chapter again. So it is very in, it is informative, but it it's not a jam packed encyclopedia. To me, it is more of for the public introduction to the topic of the Vikings from the Nor Norse mythology pagan roots to Christianity. So like it's not a totally brief introduction. Like 
here's a small paragraph of what's going on for each, if there is a chapter of each, again. So, he had the Vikings from Odin to Christ. Happy readings.